but the long-range thermal monocular camera that can detect larger moving things from as far away as 0.6 miles away. The manufacturer of the AMG2 Guardian, the company's new flagship rugged smartphone, decided to blow all of its rivals away. The AMG2 Guardian appears to be able to identify people or animals from up to 0.3 miles away, which is rather impressive, especially for a smartphone. Additionally, the camera will allow you to observe the heat signature of humans or animals. A thermal monocular camera would likely be useful for hunters, some hikers, and generally anyone who enjoys outdoor excursions. It might also be effective in an industrial context, where heat generating machinery makes it difficult to see through dust or fog. Let's not forget that the AMG2 Guardian is a robust smartphone, and the maker took care to maintain the distinctive appearance of the earlier generations. In addition to the thermal camera, there are four other cameras, including an infrared night vision camera and a macro shooter, and a big circular speaker that is placed in the back panel, that can be quite loud up to 109 decibels. The G2 Guardian now has a 120Hz display panel because CAT switched to one, making it much smoother than on earlier models. Let's put the rugged smartphone to the test to see if it can be regarded as the best rugged smartphone to date. It also comes with a 7000 mAh battery, supports 5G, and it appears that it will connect to Wi-Fi 6 or 6E networks. I observed that some manufacturers have taken significant steps to ensure that their tough smartphones don't really stand out when set next to conventional phones, but AM targets a distinct group of customers. Those who desire to drive nails using their phone. And yes, the AMG2 Guardian is unabashedly tough. It has a huge case that is actually thicker and taller than the Glory Pro at 7.0 by 3.3 by 1.0 inches. The robust smartphone is one of the heaviest smartphones I've ever held because it weighs 0.9 pounds or 405 grams, which makes it heavier than the Glory Pro. If you place it in your pocket, be sure to wear a sturdy belt, because it will attempt to pull your pants down. The AMG2 Guardian speaker is muted when it is positioned on its back, and when it is positioned on its front, it can be loud but not always clear, it simply never has the opportunity to demonstrate its full potential. The 108 megapixel primary camera, the 108 megapixel macro camera, the air pressure balance hole, and the flash LED are all located around it. The star of the show, the thermal camera and the infrared camera with the IR LED concealed beneath the plastic cover, are placed next to it. Two pins for the optional standing charging case, are located slightly lower along the back panel. The dedicated flashlight and a microphone had to be located on the frame at the top of the AMG2 Guardian. To keep the smartphone's waterproof feature, use the back side. The volume rocker is located above it, while the micro SD and SIM card slot and programmable button, are located on the opposite side of the smartphone, still on the frame, but obviously covered by a silicone cover. The programmable button is also orange, matching the power button, and the rear panel also follows the same color scheme. The push-to-talk feature, audio playback, camera startup, and flashlight functionality, may all be enabled with the programmable button. It can serve as an SOS button as well. Only those pointed at the screen, while the remainder of the body is largely resistant to sock penetration. In fact, the MG2 Guardian has passed a number of mil std 810 h tests, including being dropped from a height of 5 feet, being subjected to high pressure, withstanding sudden temperature fluctuations, and functioning in the minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit range. Along with being dustproof and nearly waterproof, the tough smartphone is also IP68 and IP69 carated. The AMG2 Guardian can withstand a 30-minute submersion in water that is as deep as 20 feet. Therefore, it shouldn't sustain any damage even if there is a high humidity level, or if you drop the phone in water or another liquid. The display on the AMG2 Guardian is 6.58 inches, significantly larger than the display on the Glory Pro, and it has a little higher resolution of 2408 by 1080p. The Pixel 2 XL and iPhone 12 showed me how 2K may appear on a phone, but the G2 Guardian's resolution is actually about right for the size of the screen. There wouldn't be any discrete pixels visible. However, as an OLED display, how does the color reproduction compare? It resembles the Glory Pro performance a lot. The Qualcomm QCM6490 SoC and the Adreno 643 GPU are both included in the AMG2 Guardian. If my prior experiences are any indication, the QCM6490 ought to be a true mid-ranger, but we won't know for sure until we run a few benchmarks. The tough smartphone also has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, but you can also purchase the 12 gigs RAM version for a little more money. Additionally, I never encountered any freezes or stutters while utilizing the 120Hz display. The AMG2 Guardian's overall performance thus far appears to be slightly above average, which is excellent news, given producers of rugged smartphones have a very terrible record of encasing entry-level hardware in a tough exterior, while raising the price to flagship-level phones. The AMG2 Guardian utilizes Android 12 similarly to the H5 Pro, and I am almost convinced that this will be the only update the smartphone sees. I still own the AM Glory Pro, which runs Android V11. 
it's fully functional, but it simply goes to show that AMP smartphones won't be receiving any more Android updates, which is unfortunate. Having said that, the G2 Guardian has a virtually stock version of Android, and when I say nearly stock, I really mean it. Only Google's crap, like Google TV, Meet, and other rubbish, is included. The 108 megapixel Samsung sensor used by the AMP G2 Guardian should deliver excellent results. With the sky and a tree covered in many leaves and branches, I was able to take a challenging photograph. Onto the 2 megapixel macro camera now. I did manage to take a few pictures of some of the blooms in my garden, and as you can see, they turned out really well. There is a great deal of detail, and the emphasis is on the right part of the topic. The monocular camera, which is the main attraction, has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels, an aperture of f1.0, and a 12mm pixel spacing, making it nearly identical to the Glory Pro in terms of specifications. The 7000 mAh battery in the MG2 Guardian is an improvement over the 6200 mAh battery in the Glory Pro, and I suppose it's one of the reasons the phone is so thick. Since I started using the rugged smartphone a week ago, it appears that the typical battery life with the brightness set to 60% was just a little bit more than 3 days. Keep in mind that I have tested the smartphone during this time, making use of the infrared camera as well as the 120Hz screen. The MG2 Guardian is substantial, bright, and functional. The phone's frame is sturdy, therefore I have no doubt that it will withstand the worst circumstances. However, choosing a monocular thermal camera has increased its sensitivity to corrosive elements and bright sunlight. The finest thermal camera on a smartphone to date is a benefit, so I suppose the trade-off is justified. Some of you may wonder if the MG2 Guardian is simply a thermal camera that also doubles as a phone. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was useful for you, have a nice day, and luck is definitely on your side.